Welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll see what this CDP is, uh, Cisco Discovery Protocol, what it does. So it basically provides a neighbor information on all directly connected Cisco devices. So very important, all directly connected Cisco devices. I mean, that is why it's called Cisco Discovery Protocol. It says Cisco proprietary protocol. So it only gives information about uh, devices that are directly connected and if they are Cisco devices. So if the vendor is something else other than Cisco, then it will not provide information about that device. And it is enabled by default on Cisco devices. So now we'll see the example. So in this example, right, in this topology, we'll take this router here. How many different devices are directly connected to this router? Well, we can see that this switch is directly connected, right? This router here is directly connected and this router here is also directly connected. So total three devices are directly connected which means when we run this CDP command uh, in this uh, router, we'll get the information about this switch and both of these routers. And that's what uh, we'll see in a moment. And also we'll verify what happens if I shut this port down, meaning this switches port, I will deliberately shut it down and uh, we'll see what happens then. We'll talk about it. So first of all, we'll go to this router. We'll run this CDP command. The command is show CDP neighbors with the S at the end, neighbors, okay? And it will show you here. We can see, we can see uh, we have three devices because we have three devices directly connected. So we have two routers and the switch. And device ID just means, you know, which device it is. It is a router. Okay. It is a router. And local interface means this interface, the router's interface. So we are on this router. It's local interface we are talking. So that is S010. So this router, I think we are talking about this uh, router here. So which means, which means the interface we are talking about S010 is right here. Okay, this interface. So it's directly connected to this router. Whole time we'll discuss in just a moment. Capability means again this uh, device, whatever, whatever the device is. So R means router, uh, short for router. So it's router and the platform is like uh, the model number. So it's ISR4300. This port ID here is the interface of the neighboring device. So the neighbor device meaning whichever is directly connected, that device's interface we are talking. Uh, in this scenario, this router here, this router here is the neighbor device that is directly connected this line here, meaning this interface is what S010, this one. So next one is again the router, we are talking this router here is directly connected and uh, local interface meaning again this here this router's interface itself S020 S020 all time we'll discuss again capability is same like this device ID uh, whatever the device is now it's a router again so it's R and ISR4300 model number and port ID again is uh, the neighbor devices interface which, which means it's S010 this interface okay Next one is a switch. So this is a switch. We're talking about this one. 
and the local interface is this interface whole time we'll discuss capabilities at this time is a switch s uh, model number and port id port id meaning the switches interface is this interface here that is fast ethernet 0 by 1 this one we can see this much information but notice one thing what it is missing it is missing IP address if you notice IP address information is not available so in order to see the IP address what you need to do run this command show CDP neighbors neighbors and detail put detail and you'll get the IP address also so as you can see we have this router IP address 10.0.0.2 10.0.0.2 is the IP address given uh, on this interface here next one we'll have another router this router 12.0.0.2 which is this interface S010 interface here and the switch also it is going to show all the information except IP address because switch doesn't have IP address we didn't configure any IP address that's why it's not showing any IP address uh, but it's also showing all the other information just like the show CDP neighbors command so with this command you'll get the IP address also now we'll discuss about hold time okay what it is this whole time so what it is this router will wait for the hello packet every 60 second if it receives if it receives the hello packet then it will go back to 180 seconds so let's say this starts here at 180 seconds okay and then at 180 minus 60 is 120 right 120 at 120 it will check whether it's receiving hello packet or not if it receives it will go back to 180 if it doesn't it will continue to drop by one so it goes to 119 118 117 160 115 114 all the way to 60 all the way to 60 and six at 60 it's, it's going to check again whether it's receiving a hello packet or not and if it does then it will renew then it will go back to 180 seconds then it will uh, count by one and then again it will uh, check at 120 like that but at 60 what happens if it doesn't receive at 60 it will continue to drop by one all the way to zero at zero if it still doesn't receive anything it just simply remove the neighbor information from its uh, entry so that's what happens so it will wait a total 180 seconds okay at zero when it expires it will just simply remove the neighbor information from its entry table routers entry table so that's what happened and we'll verify that also i will deliberately uh, shut this port and we'll see how what happens so that's what this whole time mean that's why this you'll see different different numbers here because it's going by one from 180 okay we'll see that how it works once we shut this port down so that's what uh, i will actually do now what i'm going to do is i'll go to this switch i'll shut this port f01 down neighbor uh, interface F01 interface F01 shut now that one is down now we'll go back to this router and run the same command show CDP neighbors okay you can see 
we have the three devices router router and the switch right now what happens I will continue to run this command just observe here this time here as we as I run more of this command okay now is down to 143 149 155 this switch is at 155 everything is 140 it will continue to go down 136 142 this will renew at 120 this router here okay set 130 136 same for this router both will renew at 120 now 124 122 121 120 and it will go back to 180 now that you can see here it went back to it received the hello packets and now it's counting again from 180 okay this one also and the next one it will go back to uh, 180 now you can see it's starting from 180 again but notice this it will not renew at 120 because this port is down it doesn't it's not going to receive any hello packet so we'll see how that works see now it's at 118 now it again check at uh, 60 at 60 it will again check whether it's receiving a hello packet or not I will just wait a moment I'll come back to this now it's at 89 we'll wait a few more seconds okay 76 75 73 72 71 at 60 it will try to see whether it is receiving the hello packet in this scenario it will not because the port is down at 60 now it checks it will not get it so it's continue to count down it will go all the way to 0 now at 0 it will check again so then it will just simply remove this entry okay I'll check again 22 seconds 20 15 14 13 notice the other one just keep renewing because they are receiving the hello packets now 9 eight seven six five four three two one and zero now notice this now let me run this command and you can see that now that switch is now that switch is gone from its entry table now we only have these two routers here this is what happens when it doesn't receive any hello packet for total of 180 seconds so these two are receiving hello packets that's why at 120 they keep renewing so I hope you guys understand this concept if you have any questions you can ask down below uh, if you are enjoying this kind of videos please give me a thumbs up in the next video we will see some other concepts that are related to this. So until then stay tuned and thank you and good day.